Penetrating solar thermal power uses a large array of mirrors to focus and concentrate the sunlight onto a receiver that conventionally has a heat transfer fluid, molten nitrate salt, flowing through tubes. That gets heated to just under 600 degrees Celsius. And once that's hot, it can be stored for use even when the sun's not shining to spin a turbine and generator for large-scale electricity production. Now, the challenge has been that molten nitrate salts can decompose at about 600 degrees Celsius, and the Department of Energy is looking at advanced next-generation power cycles that require temperatures of 700 degrees Celsius or higher. So we need to look for new materials or new media to get to these more efficient and more cost-effective power cycles. So with the Gen 3 technology that we're developing, it uses falling particles through the receiver instead of uh, liquids or gases flowing through tubes. We drop particles through the receiver and the concentrated sunlight strikes and irradiates the particles directly, which is much more efficient than, than having to heat tubes and then the heat transfer fluid indirectly. I like to call this technology particle power. Solid particles have a number of advantages over conventional heat transfer fluids used in concentrating solar thermal power. The particles can achieve much higher temperatures, well over a thousand degrees Celsius, and they don't freeze. I think what's exciting is that the use of particles opens up a whole new world beyond just power production. The particles can also be used for high temperature process heat in manufacturing, material synthesis, synthesis, cement making. The future of, of CSP and, and Gen 3 using solid particles is really exciting.